when people feel comfortable with you, they'll share a lot more than they want to. You know, especially in, in the form of a documentary, the biggest thing is uh, making them feel comfortable. That was actually a lesson that I learned when I used to do music. So it's like, if you can build the right environment when you're recording, then they'll give you a better performance because they feel comfortable. If people go into recording and they feel uncomfortable, they're gonna do a bad job. They'll be insecure, they'll be like whatever, and because of that, that will affect their performance. Especially when you do interviews with like everyday people who may not be used to being on camera. So like using your story for you know, business purposes or for video, there's two things that I do. One for my own personal self is I started doing a story list where something cool happens or something memorable or something funny or something, um, you know, in the moment that happens, um, I'll write it down and I'll build this list of stories. The point of doing the list of stories for me is to to be able to recall the stories. The more that I write, the more that I go through those stories, I remember certain stories that happen so that when something pops up, I'll have the right story for the right moment that can relate to different people. So we all have different stories, you know, whether it's the story of where we grew up, the story of where we went to college, the story of, you know, what our first kiss was. It's when we can find the stories that relate to certain moments that we can build the bonds with people. The second way that helps me with this sharing the stories is it, it sounds counterintuitive, but it's actually to listen. Listening to people and asking them about themselves because let's say that I have this list of stories already. And now all I need to do when I meet somebody is find what stories are relatable and what stories they can connect with. So by asking them just questions about like their life and you know listening to what they are, I can find connections between oh, maybe we have this in common, maybe there's this story. Um, so, and, it's, and you can take that on a personal scale, but you can also take it on a, like a marketing campaign. If you listen to your audience, you can find out where certain things are in common and then you can talk about that. That's literally one strategy that I use that has helped me so much, is build this list of stories and asking questions, listening to their stories and finding what stories in my list of stories can relate to them so I can help them feel comfortable and let them know that they can trust me to be a good steward of their story.